What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X6 100%. Last time we fought Ground Scaravich, and we also entered the secret boss room in Ground Scaravich's stage where we fought Nightmare Zero. And for defeating Nightmare Zero, we can now finally use Zero once again. Now we're gonna pick up and get back on track, and we are heading into the stage of Commander Yamark. The, I think, Dragonfly? Yeah, let's go with Dragonfly. Uh, fighting lots of weird bosses in this game. Fought a Dung Beetle last time. Gonna fight a Dragonfly, and... What is Infinity? Infinity Maginion is a Water Flea. Yeah, we'll be going after those two today. Maybe some others if we have time. Uh, X6 is a noticeably longer game than the previous five, largely having to do with the fact that there are the three secret bosses that teleport you out of the stage uh, that you locate them in. Uh, there's also just way more collectibles, the, uh, the 128 rescuable reploids. Here we are picking up the... Which part is the- Oh! God damn it! How did I never notice that? The part that you're picking up is emblazoned right on top of the capsule. These are the boots for the blade armor. And what the boots will allow you to do, as Dr. Light is explaining, is they will allow you to perform a mock dash. Uh, basically, it's just a very long air dash. The, uh, the air dash for the blade armor boots has invincibility frames on it. And you can also dash upwards with these boots, so not bad at all. One change that I really am not a big fan of that occurred, uh, I think it was after X3. I think it was in X4 they started doing this, I can't remember now. I don't like not being able to use armor parts as you acquire them. Uh, I think it's ever since X4. You have to have the completed armor set before you can actually gain the benefits of the parts of the armor that you've collected. Uh, we won't be able to get that Reploid or the, uh, the sub-tank just yet. I think we have to come back here with the complete blade armor, or maybe the Hyper Dash or the Speedster upgrade, which I didn't get because of Scaravich's shitty random stage last time. Yeah, I really wish I could just use the boots right now, since I just got that part. Okay, we'll pick these two up, and another heart container. I believe that should be the s No, I didn't get- again, because of Scaravich's shitty random stage, I didn't get the heart upgrade last time either from his stage. But that's fine, uh, I guess that the- I guess after I'm done with Infinity Maginion, I'll probably delve back into uh, Scaravich's stage and try to clean up some of the random sub-levels. Get some of the hearts and stuff. Oh, shit, I dashed over too far to the right. Shit. Alright, made the same mistake twice. Ah, oh, third time's the charm. These butterflies kind of remind me of Morph Moth. That, uh, sparkle dust attack. <laughs> it's just gonna chase me forever, isn't it? Yeah, it totally will. Uh, I have to be a little bit careful in this part so I don't miss any of the Reploids. Uh, there are no nightmares around here, so I'm not worried about them getting infected. I just don't want to have to take another trip this deep into the level to clean up anything I miss. Uh, so hopefully I won't miss any of them on this pass. There are, like, three or four layers to this. Uh, I think I got everything in the min the bottom and the middle layer, so it should just be the two or three up top here. Ah, sh Yeah, taking the damage is not a big deal here. Uh, and there should be one... Oh, another praying mantis. Yeah. That should be the last one here. Now we can go ahead and fight Commander Yamark. Just working my way back there. Don't you beep at me, Aaliyah. I don't want to talk to you. Don't you- Have you not gotten this hint yet? Never interested. Never. Not even once. It's a really annoying sound for Yamark 
to be making on his entrance. <laughs> see some arguing over zero. Yeah, that's another addition to the uh, the X from X4 onwards to the series that I'm not a big fan of the uh, the pre-fight chatter. They tone that way up in Maverick Hunter X too. Oh. So Yamark, unlike the next boss we're gonna be fighting, is not super tough. Oh, this could be bad though. If, if you pass under the dragonflies or flying in formation, they will uh, carpet bomb you. For the most part though, Yamark doesn't actually have enough health to be threatening. If that fight drags on for a long time, uh, it can be a little bit tricky, but it ends quickly. Speaking of Maverick Hunter X, actually, uh, this got me thinking about something I read recently. Uh, the X Collection. Remember I, I was talking about how the X Collection was supposed to come with a bunch of new stuff, like uh, remixed soundtracks, proper names for the X5 bosses, and not the Guns N' Roses references. Uh, what else? The X, the X Collection was supposed to also come with new voice tracks, but that never actually made it into the Mega Man X Collection. And I learned why recently, and it's because of Maverick Hunter X, which was the really wonky remake of Mega Man X1. Uh, which included 3D graphics, voice acting, new music, all sorts of, of shit that was really wasn't necessary. Um, uh, all the updated stuff for the collection was apparently done, and Inafune had it scrapped so it wouldn't, I guess, outshine Maverick Hunter X or something. I don't know. That sounds a little conspiratorial. Uh, there's a good write-up on it, and I can't remember the site I found it on. I'll link to it in the description. I think the deal was the updated content was going to be incorporated into future Maverick Hunter X-style remakes. And so it was dropped from the collection, but the Maverick Hunter X uh, game sold like shit, so they dropped those plans. And the new content for the collection along with it, unfortunately. Maybe we'll get that, that content one day. Maybe it'll actually see the light of day eventually. It's bound to surface sooner or later. It'll probably be like 10 years and someone working on... Working on the inside will just leak all that shit. Uh... When no one cares anymore. This is Illumina, not Illumina. Like aluminum. Illumination Illumina. Uh, he's just gonna be firing ambiguous yellow orbs at us from the background and we'll have a couple of mini boss fights to go through in this stage it's a really really short stage aside from that and the Yamark option the weapon that we just picked up from commander Yamark is really really good uh, not just for the mini boss fights not just for this stage but in general it's awesome so when you hit the special weapon button, the first thing that happens is you get three dragonflies circling you. Uh, they orbit you like a shield, they will do damage to anything they come in contact- Oh shit, kill the nightmare. And I also forgot about this guy. Uh, the nightmare did not start floating towards the reploid up there, so I'm not that concerned, yeah. I'm not able to rescue that one yet. So that's no problem. Uh, the dragonflies will do damage, a lot of it, to anything they come in contact with. Uh, they will eventually be destroyed once they've come in contact with something enough times. Uh, they are not invincible, they are not infinite. Uh, all you have to do to replenish them is just hit the special weapon button, though. And then on top of that, they also, all three at once, fire projectiles when you hit the special weapon button an additional time. You could just spam that. Or you could just piano the special weapon button and the, uh, the X-Buster shot and spam, like, four shots at once. It's really, really good. It's my favorite weapon in the whole game. Let's see, this is the part for the X-Buster upgrade for the blade armor. Uh, this one leaves a lingering plasma ball behind when you do a charge shot, much like the one that was introduced in X4. And I believe it also lets you do something with your with X's version of the Z Saber. I can't remember what though. I it might be a charge shot. 
Uh, the dive bombs here are going to be totally intentional. I'll probably die in at least four or five times. Uh, last time I mentioned that there are... Whoops, didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> last time I mentioned that there are, there are a couple of stages in here which really, really make me nervous about this 100%. Uh, because, as I mentioned, when the Nightmares... All they have to do is touch the Reploids. For a, a second. And some of them will actually have spawned, like, directly on top of the Reploids. So there are a couple of stages that are especially dicey in terms of that. That make the 100% particularly messy to do. This is one of them. I got the one Reploid that I was really, really worried about in this stage. That one on the far right down there. That is... He's like... There's like a pixel separating that one Reploid on the far right out of three of those from that nightmare. And if you are not quick about it, you will lose that one every time. It's fucking horrendous. I'm so relieved that I got that one. Uh, that alone makes me way less worried about the 100%. I, this is going to be fine now. I got the really, really bad one. <laughs> and last time we were in a secret boss uh, stage, we fought Nightmare Zero. Now that Nightmare Zero has been defeated, we move on to the next optional secret boss, which is none other than High Max. Uh, High Max was a creation of Gates. He was meant to rival the power, the raw power, of Zero and X, and in fact, High Max is actually way stronger than X. He's just not as intelligent. He's not as close to being human. And by normal means, High Max is not... He, he's virtually invulnerable here uh, to X's regular buster shots. Ah, oh, there's my favorite attack, Death Poop. So the way that you actually have to damage High Max is you have to first shoot him with a charge buster shot that'll stun him like so, and then you walk up and you hit him with any special weapon. For most of the fight, up until about a third of his health remains, uh, this is the pattern the fight will follow for the entire time. Uh, these three attacks. His desk poop attack where he charges the wall, his attack where he swoops down with a shield where you can just cr where you can just crouch in the corner, and that attack where he fires several volleys of orbs with a gap in between each volley. We'll wait that one out in the corner. Now, I could use uh, Scaravich's weapon, but I hate that weapon, so I'm sticking with my good old buddies, the Dragonflies, the Yamark option. This fight is really, really fun, if not a little simple. At least up until he reaches a third of his health. Once he reaches one third of his health, he starts going into his desperation attack. Uh, where I will start taking significant amounts of damage because it's a crazy ass fate. Here we go. Time to run the gauntlet. Uh, so at this point in the fight, oh, 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 shit. At this point in the fight, I'm just gonna try to rush him down uh, with no regard for my safety or health. And that works out because I went into that phase at full health, basically. That attack that he does at one-third of his health is really, really, really difficult to dodge. Uh, and it does tons of damage every time you take a hit. Luckily, in that phase, you don't have to stun him with your X-Buster anymore. You can just kind of work him down and grind him down from that point on. Oh, and the kick-ass boss theme for this fight continues in the cutscene. It's really, really nice. Oh no, how could my robot be defeated by something much more clever than it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. Where was Isaac in that... In that boss encounter? He just shows up? Did he teleport in to rescue Max? What's going on here? Oh, this whole... This whole bullshit segment. <laughs> Lots of fuckery going on here. <laughs> Cygnus is calling X off just as X is about to deliver the death blow because it's too dangerous, X! 
Okay, that's 14 out of 16, so I did get all of the ones that I wanted. That's good. I didn't miss any Reploids, I don't think. Wait, this is the cutscene that plays when you open up Gates' laboratory. Did I get 3,000 souls already? Is it time for this all? Oh, right, it's not when you collect 3,000 souls, it's when you beat High Max in the secret level. So, at this point in the game, I've defeated one out of the eight investigators. If I wanted to, I could go on to Gates Laboratory and beat the game right now. But I'm not going to do that because that would feel shitty and that would rob all of you of seeing the other six stages plus the Infinity Maginion fight, which I'm not going to do that to you. Why would I... Why would I do a... I couldn't do that under the the rules of the 100% anyway. 100% of cheapness. Yeah, we've located Gates Secret Laboratory. Let's stop the nightmare. Yeah, we're not gonna do that though. I am gonna check something real quick. Let's see, Northern, okay. Not missing any Reploids, which is good. If you go into that menu, and you're missing a Reploid, it means one of them got infected. Uh, they'll be labeled either missing or dead. Uh, they'll be labeled dead if you kill the infected Reploid. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut back to where I left off when I defeated the um, mini-boss for the second time, and where the portal to the secret area was located, so I will see you in just a second as I... Uh, work my way back there. Okay, so now instead of going into the secret portal, we just dash to the right. Just one nightmare, two nightmares, and the 15th Reploid of the stage. The 16th is the one you saw way back at the beginning of the stage suspended over the rope that I couldn't reach just yet. I believe you can reach that with the Hyper Dash, the Speedster, the Blade Armor, or with a Blizzard Wolfang's weapon, you can actually get up there. But now we are in for one hell of a boss fight. Uh, Infinity Maginion is one of the hardest bosses in the entire series. He is difficult no matter what circumstance you fight him under, except, of course, with his weakness. That kind of... that'll sap the challenge out of any boss fight, but... Maginion is no joke. It might take me a couple of attempts to deal with this, uh... Magin Infinity Maginion is, for all intents and purposes, a completely random fight with a lot going on. It's a very technical, very random fight. Uh, he can spawn an infinite number of clones, an infinite number of these bubbles that are moving around independently. The clones and the bubbles can be destroyed, but they're very durable. So, the key to the fight is just to survive and grind him down. Do your best to take as little damage as possible on the early, less chaotic portion of this fight, and then just try to rush it down from then. Uh, it, yeesh. Come on. Oh, fuck. This is bad. Holy shit, if I had not hit that last shot, I would have landed on one of the bubbles and died. That's an intense fight. Oh. I don't mind it being random either. A lot of people complain about uh, Maginion's randomness, but it I think it works. That's a fun fight. <laughs> Dramatically different fight from High Max, but both fights are pretty entertaining, to be honest. Ooh. And I love Infinity Maginion. Stupid, stupid name. But, uh, yeah, really fun fight. He, I think I said before he's some kind of water flea. I don't remember the species, but Maginion, the word Maginion, uh, is, I want to say a made-up word based on the Japanese word for what his, what that species of water flea is. Uh, I, I 
d otherwise, I don't know where the fuck Majinian came from, or why they just didn't name him something sensible. <laughs> Uh, so to close this out, I'm gonna head back into Ground Scaravich's stage to do some cleanup, because I- before I go any further, I really need to rescue the Reploid in the stage who has the Speedster upgrade. Uh, because that's gonna come- that's- that's gonna be invaluable for acquiring some parts and some, uh, hearts and stuff. So I will see you all in just a second as I wade through the random bullshit of these stages. Hopefully I don't get screwed over too many times by, uh, by drawing stages I've already been to, or sub-stages, rather, from this goddamn lottery of a level. My god, I hate this stage so much. Oh, finally a new one! Good, good, good. Uh, I've gone through this stage, uh, this is my third pass through the stage now. It's not been going great for me. <laughs> uh, there are four of those totems per stage, so I've gone through... I think this is my 15th totem. And I'm just now getting a new stage, so yeah, hooray. Got some extra Reploids. I think the Reploid that gives me the, uh, the Speedster part is in this stage. Alright, that's everything in this stage. Um, I won't know until I... Finish it again, or or until I exit. I'm um, oh god damn it! The spike scared me. At least what I rescued here would carry over. I'm gonna keep carrying on. Hopefully, I find the heart in one of these next pass-throughs. Uh, several totems later. Is this the one with the heart? I think this is at least a new stage. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, R and Jesus, for this bounty that I am about to receive. Uh, this should be the one with the heart. I think this is finally... Th this should be the last one. This should be the last of, of uh, Scaravich's random sub-stages, I hope. I don't want to go through the... I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, it hurts. Oh, shit. Dashed into it in midair, took the damage, and nah. Bit of death. <sighs> this is an exhausting stage to go through, uh, like 20 times or something. This is the worst 100% ever. You should never tie 100% completion to randomness like this. Why? God damn it, why? It's not great. Oh, please be the one with the heart. If this is not the stage with the heart capsule, or the heart- Thank you, thank you so much. I was really worried for a second, I thought I had to do another one. I was gonna say, if this isn't the stage with the heart container, that means that there is an additional random sub-level I'm gonna have to go through. Oh, thank you. I'm done with Scaravich's stage now, finally. That's it. Uh, we did get the speedster upgrade. R yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Finally done with Scaravage's stage. <laughs> oh, let's check that out real quick and make sure. Let's see, uh, it should be the museum. Central museum. Uh, there. No, there is another random stage. Because I'm still missing two of them. I did get the speedster upgrade, though, so I'll come back for that. For the remaining two later. I'll do a cleanup pass when I'm done with the eight investigators. Next time we will be moving on to Shield Sheldon, to Rainy Turtleoid, Metal Shark Player, hopefully the rest of the investigators, and of course our final secret level boss. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man X6 100%. For now though, thanks for watching everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.